Do you have an extremely slow Mac? If you're in this video, you probably do. So today I'm gonna show you how to fasten up your Mac in really, really easy, simple steps. Um, but you'll need some programs with that I'll have the links down below. Everything uh, will be down below in the description, everything that you need to download. And I, these programs are not difficult to use. They're really easy and they're really uh, user friendly. So let's go ahead on to my Mac and I'll show you how to fasten up uh, your PC really, really easy. Do you have a crowded desktop? If you do, then clear it up. This will slow down your computer and navigation will be much slower. If you clear it up, uh, startup will be faster and generally it will more uh, look more organized. So I uh, choose to have only one row of icons right here, no more than that. And sometimes I even only have my Macintosh HD without any other stuff right here. So please uh, clear up your desktop. This will fasten up your PC and will, it will make your life easier, trust me. It's not stupid, it's confirmed by my IT teacher and various sources on the web. It's not stupid, guys. Number two is actually deleting whatever you don't want on your Mac. For example, files that you don't need anymore or applications that you don't use anymore. So uninstall those and your Mac will have some free space um, will have more free space actually and it will run faster. So how do you do that? Basically you go into your applications and you, the ones downloaded from the app store you just click on the X or you download an app that will have down below which is called App Cleaner and uh, it's right there. So when you open that you can uninstall any applications that you've downloaded uh, on your Mac. So for example I don't need uh, um, I don't need Flutter. So if I go ahead and search for that and click on delete, that's simple. So and then empty your trash. That's it. So let's go to number three. Another way of cleaning up your Mac uh, is to actually use C Cleaner, which is a free app on the App Store, and you can use it to clean cache and cookies uh, from your browser. So I have Safari on this uh, Mac, Firefox, Opera, and Google Chrome. So I use everything and uh, every single one of them for different purposes and uh, have a lot of cache and cookies saved. I had uh, actually because I now deleted them but you can use this, you can uh, clean your cache from your browsers and uh, you can also clean other stuff from other applications, system applications, your system for example the try you can analyze for different uh, things that you don't need so this basically cleans uh, your unwanted stuff. Uh, applications you can also scan through your applications for example App Store uh, Dropbox and all the applications you have you can scan for unwanted items and all you need to do is check what you need what you want to scan you can play around with this I usually uh, check uh, just for the browsers because I don't need to clean anything else um, and uh, I uh, of course, delete internet cache, cookies, history, session, site preferences, and all that stuff. I usually don't clean saved passwords, uh, but uh, have them saved on my keychain, so that's okay. So what you need to do is click on analyze. Uh, I only have uh, four megabytes of files because I deleted them just yesterday. So if I uh, um, actually I deleted them today, that's why zero 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 zero. But you'll probably have a lot more. It may say thousands of files and all that stuff. So you need to clean this in order to speed up your Mac. And all you need to do is click on Run Cleaner, and it's really fast, lighting fast, and you can adjust also. Uh, how you clean your Mac, your cookies. For example, you have the secure file deletion or um, the normal file deletion. So, uh, for example, if you want a complete um, a complete deletion, uh, you just click on complex override. But this will take a lot of time, don't do that. Just click on normal, that's fine. And yeah, that's it. So, let's go to number four now. So, number four is uh, built in your Mac, you don't need to download anything. 
all you need to go ahead and do is go to your launch pad or your applications folder and choose the other uh, file folder and click on the disk utility so you have to, you can also find it from the spotlight right here so yeah anyway so once you go to disk utility you need to select your Macintosh uh, HD um, disk um, and then you have to click on verify disk permissions ah sorry repair disk permissions so once you click on that uh, it will um, as you can see, uh, estimate time. I did this yesterday, so it will repair uh, some permissions, disk permissions on your disk, and this will make your computer faster. So uh, I don't really know how to explain this in more detail, but uh, I've read about this, and uh, a lot of people say that this will uh, fix some computers because they had the broken um, uh, partitions and all that stuff. I don't know. Uh, so uh, just click on. Um, repair disk permission so I stopped now because I did it uh, last time and so number five uh, still on disk utility and it's um, once you go to your disk minus that one and you can say here your you can see your smart status if it's verified then your computer is uh, is just fine if it's not if it says about to fail or failed then you need to change your disk your hard disk in order for your computer to work properly so maybe you have broken um, uh, broken in um, co in quotation marks a uh, broken uh, hard disk and you need to replace it if it's not verified and it's about to fail so you have to check on that regularly and uh, so back up if it's about to fail back up your uh, Back up your content, anything that you have on your Mac on an external hard disk in order for you not to lose anything. So that was number five. Let's go to number six. Next, what you need to do is actually um, if you have problems with browsing. So I found this article right here which says reset Safari. Um, and it's basically showing you how to reset Safari. Uh, once you do that, it says here it will remove all cookies. I uh, remove saved usernames, passwords, and autofill. So if you have problems with Safari, if it's lagging, if it's too slow, any problems with that, you can always uh, reset it. Uh, so it says you want to make some copies of these uh, files, library, cookies, uh, that you can find in preferences, I think, in your library of your PC. Um, I have this down below anyway in the description. So what you need to do is actually go ahead on Safari on the top right and then click on Reset Safari. Um, wait a minute. Yeah. Click on uh, Reset Safari right there. So, and once you click on that, you have um, I have the latest Safari, so you have the options. You have to clear history, reset top sites, remove all web pages, preview images, reset all location warnings, reset all website notification warnings, remove all website data, remove saved names and passwords, remove other autofill form text, clear the downloads list, and close all Safari windows. And you click Reset, but I don't want to do that right now you can do that to fasten up your safari browser and generally have a better experience on the web as it won't be as slow as before so it's basically fastening it up so let's go to number seven so basically next what we have to do is uh, is to see whether or not uh, we have a process that uses too much of our cpu so in order to do that we need to go to our launch pad or on the applications uh, folder and then we go to other or utilities um, I don't know how you name it but uh, anyway so then we go to activity monitor which is right here you can also search activity monitor in the spotlight so what you need to do is go ahead and uh, click all processes from this table I think you will have um, my processes selected but you need to click all processes and then go to uh, the CPU and click on it until you have from in, in order to be in ascending order of uh, highest to lowest so it's 0 um, and 2 8 uh, 289 it's continually changing anyway so um, QuickTime player uses 
much of my CPU right now so it's 290 that's how I'm recording uh, this video so QuickTime player uses um, most of my CPU right now then it's Windows Server uh, Choreo Diode which I don't know what it is but it's from Intel so I need that <laughs> uh, so an activity monitor 1.8% of my CPU this is 289.2 right now percent 90.9, 92.5, etc. etc. So you need to see which process uses much of your CPU. So especially if you're not doing something uh, CPU intensive and you can hear uh, your computer um, making sounds and stuff, uh, then something is running in the background. And you can find the application, and if you don't need it, you can delete it. Uh, so that's how you speed up your com you can speed up your computer. So that was number seven. And uh, um, before I conclude with number seven, uh, you can also check your system memory through Activity Monitor down below. Uh, free memory, wired memory, active memory, inactive, and this is the uh, RAM basically. And um, the more free memory you have, the faster your computer will be, will behave. Um, CPU, you can also check the CPU right here, which is um, the percentage used by the user, the system, and what percentage is idle. So that was it for uh, this part, and uh, so let's go to number eight. So uh, this is the last thing I'm gonna show you today, number eight, and um, it's basically an application how to free your memory, your RAM, um, and this is an application you can download from the App Store. Uh, have two of them actually, and I will tell you which one I prefer soon. Um, but for now, we're gonna test the free one. This is a free one that you can download from the App Store, and it's called Memory Clean. And what you get once you open this is this thing and it runs also on the taskbar so if you click on clean memory uh, you can see that uh, it says cleaning it says the percentage um, uh, which is it is cleaning uh, our RAM our memory so you can also have the details here uh, what type of RAM um, what type of uh, use um, is going on on your RAM so whether or not it's active it's wired inactive or free so we need these to increase to make our computer faster so um, okay no thanks for now and you can see this increase once I cleaned my memory and uh, as you can see right here it says 2.5 gigabytes of free memory available and that's pretty good uh, when your computer is too slow and you open this, it may be laggy, uh, but when you clean the memory, uh, probably uh, it will restore your computer to its um, uh, faster state, let's say. So this is a free application, it also shows the free memory up there when it's running, and I'll quit that for now, and this is the free application, guys, um, and it's called Memory Clean. I have that link down below, and I also have a paid version called Memory Freer. I won't even open that because it's laggy. It doesn't show the uh, how much free memory you have on the taskbar. Uh, it's a lot laggy, a lot laggier when you clean your memory. It makes your computer more laggier, and it's 99 cents. Uh, so yeah. I prefer the free one it's much better I like it more so I suggest you go get the free one I'll have the link down below again so that was it guys that was the end of uh, how to improve your computer speed uh, in various ways uh, including in, in your web browsing experience and um, generally make your computer faster uh, and enjoy it more so thank you very much for watching uh, stay tuned for more videos and uh, please comment rate and subscribe for more awesomeness out oh, and these background right here uh, had a lot of people asking me where I got it so uh, it's an application uh, so if you want it really bad just comment it down below and I may upload the file somewhere for you to get it so thank you very much